Well, the 4th of July is upon us, and I wanted to check in and let you know about the current status of the housing market. If you take a look at Metro Denver, the average selling price in Denver last month was $800,000, which is about the same, no change in Denver. In Evergreen, the average selling price for a house was $945,000, which is down both month over month and year on the over year slightly. In Conifer, the average selling price was $925,000 and some change, which was down month over month, but up year over year. The interesting thing about the Evergreen and Conifer market is Evergreen, over the past five years, the average selling price of a house has gone up 30, 36%, and in Conifer, the average selling price of a house has gone up 40%. So if you have sticker shock when buying an Evergreen and Conifer, if you've been gone for five years, that makes a lot of sense. What about number of pending sales? Well, in Denver, the number of pending sales is 4,197, which is down about 7.9%. In Evergreen, the number of pending sales is at 60. That's the lowest number of pending sales in 10 years. In Conifer, the number of pending sales is 26, and that's an even, no change for the Conifer market. The active number of listings in Denver is 5589. That is a decrease of about 20%. The number of active listings in Evergreen is 662. That's up 22%. And the number of listings in Conifer right now that are active is 276, which is up about 10%. The number of new listings in Denver is down significantly, about 28% down. However, the number of new listings in Evergreen and Conifer are up a bit in both cases. Our list to sell ratio for the Denver Metro market is 100%, 100.3. The list to sell ratio in Evergreen has dipped to 99.5, but the list to sell ratio currently in Conifer is 100.1. Days on market in Denver is 22. Days on market in Evergreen is 26. Days on market in Conifer is 16. Current month supply of inventory in the Denver market is less than two months. In Evergreen, the month supply of inventory is three months. And in Conifer, the month supply of inventory is four months. Anything less than four months is considered a seller's market. And then it becomes a balanced market at six months supply. So in both Denver and Evergreen, the scales are still tipped toward the seller. Now, what is the forecast for the remainder of the year? Well, first of all, our inventory issue is not expected to resolve itself by the end of 2023. Sellers are reluctant to let go of their houses. I checked this morning, the interest rate was at 7.02, and this time last year, the interest rate was at 5.3. Homeowner equity is at its highest level in decades. The chance of a housing market crash is incredibly low. Buyers sitting on the sidelines today expecting lower prices tomorrow may end up disappointed. My advice for buyers in this low inventory market, be the best prepared, have your financing in order, have a solid understanding of the market, check for new listings daily, be ready to act because in those cases there will be competition if the homes are priced correctly. Working with an experienced agent is a crucial advantage in today's market. My advice for sellers, sellers should work with an experienced agent in order to dial in the correct entry pricing for their listing. Homes that are priced right experience competition when they come to the market. They can also expect to receive about 100% of their list price in an offer. Homes that are priced too high linger on the market and face price reductions. Sellers do not neglect your online curb appeal. Buyers are more sophisticated than ever and have high expectations beyond a standard set of real estate photos when they're looking online. Aerial drone photos and video, walkthrough video of the entire house, additional photos of outbuildings and land, floor plans, property websites with links to maps, local schools, and lifestyle amenities. These are all expectations of buyers who are looking in the market. Listings that utilize excellent curb appeal get 69% more views and 80% more saves on websites such as Zillow. If you or someone you know is thinking about buying or selling, please reach out for a conversation with us today. The biggest regret we hear year over year from sellers is that they wish they began the conversation process, the consulting process, with earlier 
and they wish that they had begun prepping their home for sale earlier. People who work with us feel safe and confident while protecting their wealth and saving themselves from unforeseen hazards. When people receive skillful guidance, they can feel safe and confident buying and selling real estate. Have a wonderful Independence Day tomorrow. Enjoy whatever you are up to and have gratitude for the liberty and freedom that we enjoy in this wonderful country.